So, where did we leave off? Well, probably before we get started with the last six years of our lives recapping, we should probably start by introducing ourselves for those of you who don't know us yet. Very true. Good point, Victoria. So, my name is Todd. My name is Victoria, his daughter. And my wife and I, we started a day spa 18 years ago, and I have been a licensed cosmetologist for 26 years, and I absolutely love my profession. Wow, I can't believe it's been 26 years already. And believe it or not, Dad, I've been doing hair for 15 years now. 15 years? I know. Can you believe it? No, you make me feel so old. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> But uh, we had a successful business in Wolf Road, New Hampshire, uh, USA, really it, the lakes region. Yeah, and um, remember that Wolf Road is the oldest summer resort in America. That's a really good point. What we can do is we could put a link uh, down on our page. Uh, you can click on it and see where we're from and what the location was like uh, that we were able to enjoy living. Yeah, because uh, it was beautiful. Exactly. But I want to say right from the beginning that we really loved our clients. Our clients were like our family to us and we miss them every single day. Yeah, we miss them so much. It's so hard. Mm. But how did, how did we end up here? Well, it started with getting my dual citizenship as an Italian citizen. Which fortunately you and I were able to do at the same time. So now I have my citizenship for Italy as well. True. And... <laughs> Trust me when I tell you this, that we can't go into detail right now about the oh, process, but we can, <laughs> we can have a different whole video on how we got our citizenship as well. Yeah, that was such an ordeal. I'm just glad we finally got it because, wow, that took years. <laughs> right. Oh. So we came here to Sicily to have a more balanced life, a simpler way of living and to be able to enjoy life a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you a little bit about the day we, that we moved to Sicily. It was almost like we were living in an episode of the Beverly Hillbillies. It was <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I, I agree. Except for the fact that you didn't stick mom on the roof of the car in her favorite rocking chair, which is a good thing because, you know, we'd still be hearing about that. Yeah, we would be. But I have to say, like typical Americans, we tried packing as much as we could in the suitcases that we had which I have to say, we had too many suitcases at the time. Yeah. And we had our old English sheepdog with us in a very large crate at the airport. So yeah. a lot to juggle. A lot to juggle. But let me tell you about the flight. The flight itself was actually- This is gonna be long and boring. Let's just fast oh, through, through this. It was just so- <laughs> Okay, that should be enough. We can hit play. So that's where we are today. We are now in lockdown in Sicily. Uh, <laughs> yeah, lockdown. Don't even which, get me started. <laughs> which we can do another whole thing about the difference between lockdown in Italy as opposed to lockdown in the U.S. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I know that lockdown in the U.S. is bad, but it is a whole nother animal here. I mean, they're very, very strict, which is good. But I literally have police officers and Italian military right outside my door on a daily and hourly basis. It's it's a little crazy. What are you just a do? little, just a little. Yeah. So <clears throat> we've been living in Sicily now for six years uh, in a town called Bel Paso, which basically sits at the base of Mount Etna, which in fact is an active volcano. <laughs> yes, and when you say active, it's true. It's very active. But supposedly they tell us that's a good thing, but um, I'm still not convinced about that one. But anyways, um, what we can do instead of talking into too much detail right now about Mount Etna, we can um, post a link on here as well where you can check it out. It's um, all about Mount Etna, um, all the information on it. Um, they, they post videos of the eruptions, which we just had one two nights ago that was amazing. It was. Um, as well as they give status on it of how high it is because that changes with every eruption. So that's kind of a neat website to check out um, and look at regularly. As well as we can also post a link to the Bel Paso website where they live, um, where there's great pictures and videos mm -hmm. of that quaint little town, which I think you'd enjoy seeing. And Victoria, I really like that website of Mount Etna because it helps us to see what's going on. Uh, with the eruptions. So we know exactly when the lava is going to come flying at us and we have to grab our go bags and run for our lives. Yeah, run forest. 
I really <laughs> feel like it's going to be an episode like that. Trust me. Yeah, that'll be later. <laughs> mm. But let me tell you a little bit about our villa. It's it's located, uh, the size of the property that I saw in is about 7,000 square meters. So for us Americans, that's roughly around an acre and a half of land. <clears throat> What's interesting about this property is that it has a ton of fruit trees on it. So we have apple, we have pear, we have mulberry tree, we have uh, blackberry bushes, we have a walnut tree, and we have tons of fig trees as well. Incredible. Um, we know a lot of people that like fig trees. <laughs> yes, we know a lot of clients that love figs, don't we? Mm -hmm. But also too, <clears throat> excuse me, is that we have an abandoned um, vineyard on our property as well. Yeah, which I think we should really start cultivating again, just saying. I think that's a good idea. But what's nice about our villa is that we have a beautiful view on the backside of our villa. We have a beautiful view of Mount Etna. And so we can see the eruptions and Mount Etna is ever changing. So it's so beautiful. And the front side of our property, <clears throat> we have a beautiful view of the ocean and also of the city of Catania. Ah, yeah, true. And um, actually Catania is where I live <laughs> and it's a really neat, quaint city. Um, and I absolutely love going to the outdoor food markets where they have fresh produce every day. Um, the fresh fruit is amazing. When you get oranges or lemons, it still has the leaves on it. And when you mm. come home, then they start wilting, so you know they're really fresh. Mm. Um, or you can get the fresh vegetables and the broccoli still has the um, ash on it from Etna, from that <laughs> last eruption, so you know it's fresh. Um, and they also have the outdoor fish markets, which are really neat with the local seafood every day. Um, and it's beautiful because they also have the beautiful beaches here in Catania, which, you know, when you're not in quarantine or lockup, you can actually enjoy. But we won't go into too much detail about Catania now. We'll save that for a later episode. Very true. And talking back about Bel Paso, too, one thing I forgot to say is that we're surrounded by vineyards. So uh, it's much different than Catania, where we live is very quiet and tranquil. Yeah. And two, they have all the hiking trails up and around Etna. And in those hiking trails where you can bring your dogs and everything, there are so many chestnut trees. Mm. Um, and it's so much fun to, to stop and just pick chestnuts. It's wonderful. But you have to be really careful when picking chestnuts, which, you know, yeah, some of us, you know, we won't name names, but some of us learned the hard way. Well, yes, I did learn the hard way. I didn't realize there was a certain way to, to pick a chestnut without getting hurt. So yeah. they um, are a little dangerous. Fortunately, a friend of ours explained to us how to do this, and now we do it safely and enjoy doing it. So that's where we are today. Uh, fast forward six years from moving from the States to Sicily. Uh, so we have many more videos that are going to be coming up about uh, some of the adventures that we're going to take around the island, uh, and we'd love to bring you along with us. We're actually going to relive some of the things that we've already enjoyed about Sicily, so you can uh, see some of those things as well. But you know what I think we should do, Victoria? I think our first video after lockdown is we should do or bring them with us to the place on the island where we can get the best cannolis. Oh, I think that will be my favorite episode. And I know mom won't mind tagging along on that one. She will not complain at all. In fact, she's probably packing the car right now. Probably. <laughs> So I guess that's it for now. I hope you um, would like to know more about us and the, the adventures that we're going to have. If you would, please like this video and also subscribe to our channel uh, so that you can be notified when our next video comes out. I guess that's it for now, right, Victoria? Yeah, okay, sounds good. Ciao uh, for now. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Arrivederci.